Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to another empties video. This box is full up, which means it's time for me to talk about the products that I have finished up recently. Final thoughts on whether or not I would go on to repurchase. I'm not quite sure if there's much of an order to these and so I'm going to just dive from the top and check you through the products that I've used up and yeah, my final thoughts because I love doing these videos. I talk so much about first impressions. So I think it's really important to talk about products once we finish them and if like thoughts are the same and things like that. So with that said done, Let's dive straight into this video. I know empties videos are just so like old school but I love watching them I love making them I hope you guys do too if you do be sure to like this video just so I know to continue making them it's one of those things I'm never sure whether you're enjoying them at the frequency I'm doing them but I often think when this box is full otherwise it's become too long of a video so starting off strong we have Olaplex shampoo and conditioner so I've talked about this before more specifically when I used my first set of Olaplex shampoo and conditioner I went on to repurchase it because I do love Olaplex for bond restoring hair health it's such a fantastic brand for specifically repairing those bonds which will show damage and can just affect your hair in so many ways so these have been great However, I'm not going to be repurchasing them at the moment. The reason being is that Olaplex stops being as effective when your hair is slightly healthier. And I don't know if you can tell, maybe, maybe not, but my hair generally at the moment is in quite good condition. And so when I've been using these, I've just found they are just slightly too moisturizing for me. And I'm not getting the same results as I used to because my hair's health has improved quite a lot. These are great products to have even if you use like once a week, for example, to maintain your hair's health. But I loved using these. These were great to use in the shower. Really lovely experience. But the like kind of more later months where I've been using them, my hair's been getting a little bit more greasy from use. And so for that reason, I've just not loved them in the same way that I used to. So great if you have damaged hair, dry hair that needs just a huge amount of TLC. These can be slightly expensive, but genuinely last you months and months and months. My last set lasted me about nine months. This set, probably about eight, maybe even nine, so probably a similar kind of time span of life. You need so little of this, and that is the key with these professional products, is using very, very tiny amounts, and that is gonna make sure that you get the same benefits and the products are gonna last you a really long time. So actually a great investment if you are looking to improve your hair's health from the inside out and looking to splurge on products that work so well, just for me, I feel like I'm the other side of it a little bit um, and I just don't need them in the way that I used to need them. However, if my hair were to get more damaged in the future, these would be the first products I'd repurchase. So yeah, it's going to be a bit weird not having Olaplex shampoo and conditioner in my life because I have had them for the last couple of years. However, it's time to kind of use up a bit more in my collection and give, I guess, um, like a spotlight to other products that I've been using as well. So yeah, really great, really recommend them, but... Yeah, you just don't need them if your hair's not damaged. Looking at conditioner. So these are two conditioners. It's very a very conditioner heavy month. I'm not quite sure why, um, but I've seemed to have just used these ones up quicker than the shampoos. It's normally the other way around, so God knows what's going on. However, I've done a video about these two products specifically from OGX from the Keratin Oil range. This is a conditioner. I really enjoyed this product. This range was really nice. I really enjoyed it. And OGX is a brand that is a really nice brand to use and it's slightly more expensive than just like maybe just normal drugstore products but definitely not as expensive as Olaplex and stuff. This is pH balance which is great for your hair. Honestly left my hair so shiny and so soft. Really recommend these if you're looking for something that's going to add again just hair health, make your hair look really good and glossy. This is a great choice. And then I used the Monday conditioner. This was from my volume range. And I would say I didn't get tons of volume for using these and I probably preferred the shampoo over the conditioner. However, it was still quite a nice range of products to use. These are super affordable. I think these are like four pounds each or something. Um, and just look, I think they just look really nice. I love the pump, I love the aesthetic of it. They worked well, didn't make my hair particularly greasy, which I really liked. And so for that reason, 
I would equally recommend this range of products as well. If you're looking for something in the more affordable space, you get loads of products in here. So this is 350 ml per bottle, whereas the Olaplex ones are only 200, so big difference. But yeah, really nice, cute, quite like this range. I need to try more for Monday hair care actually. So next up we have got a deodorant. No frills, but they work. More shampoo and conditioner. I don't know what's happened. Um, but these are the Sol de Janeiro shampoo and conditioner. Again, done a video all about these ones specifically. And I really liked them. The only thing I didn't like is again, the fact they were really, really moisturizing and therefore made my hair greasy quite quickly compared to other shampoo and conditioners I use. And it's something that generally my hair can shift slightly more on the greasy side, slightly earlier if I use the wrong types of products. So for me, these did make my hair greasy, not the hugest fan. However, when I went to London for a couple of nights, I took these with me. They really helped my hair feel good, look good, really enjoyed them they are great to kind of take away these are obviously the travel friendly size ones but lasted quite a long time to be honest love the smell nice experience quite energizing using it like waking up and having a shower at 6 a.m for example however beyond that i would just say that if you're not looking for something that's particularly moisturizing you're not going to love these but if you are you will like them they smell like the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream if you like that. Um, generally, the Sol de Janeiro products in the hair care space have been quite disappointing. These were kind of better products within that. So if you're looking for recommendations, this and I think it was the like leave-in conditioner or something were good products. The rest I just would kind of leave and these are not cheap and so i probably won't repurchase these for the reasons i described just slightly too moisturizing for my hair and i need something that kind of restricts oil a little bit instead of encourages it so unfortunately not for me but i did enjoy using them up whilst i had them so this is a home fragrance product i've talked about these before in my older empty videos but if you don't know or you're new here i love using those like steam diffusers where you put oil and water and it kind of diffuses it within the air this is from the brand Wax Lyrical and this is the Tropical Island scent. Really nice. This is a very nice summery fragrance and just the nature of those diffusers fill your house so well. And this scent especially is quite strong. It's very uplifting, very energizing. And so I think that if you have something like that or you like your house smelling really good but don't find that candles have the same scent throw, this is really great. I buy these from Dunelm and I think they're about five pounds. And because they're huge and you only need a tiny bit of oil, last forever. So hugely recommend this as a bit of a like home smelling product especially in the house we're in now i love it so much that i just love everything smelling nice all the time i'm a bit ocd with like the way that my house smells however these don't let me down really good purchase i have a makeup product that i have used up annoyingly there's a tiny bit left but i just can't get it out no matter like how i've tried to maneuver the product out so i've called it a day this is the elf power grip primer really good i think i finished a couple of these in the past maybe spoken about them in my empties videos but these are 10 pound and just are so good these are my favorite primers i prefer this over the um milk hydro grip primer which is what i used initially and realized this is very very comparable i have oily skin and so i like something that is slightly more durable gives longevity and this really helps out because it's slightly sticky helps foundation really adhere to the skin and helps it last all day and so for that reason i love these super affordable you can get them from Superdrug. they often do like free for two on cosmetics and stuff so keep an eye out on that i also get a student discount and so so I managed to get these at quite a good bargain price for like three of them at a time. So that's how I typically purchase them. I already have two of these in reserve. And so I'm definitely always probably going to repurchase this. It's the thing with makeup. And I've done a video slightly recently where I talk about my favorite makeup products. And this is just one of those where I love it so much because I get longevity. It doesn't let me down. And I'm in that stage in my life where if it's not broke, don't fix it. And so, yeah, this is just my go-to primer and probably will be for the next couple of months maybe years i don't know but yeah shout out to elf because this is incredible i know they bought out another like niacinamide one but i'm to be honest i'm not interested in trying it because i know this one works so good next up we have some individual lashes this is from miss claudia killsby this is in the shade il2 this is what i use when i use my like diy lash extensions at home using the like bond and seal so you would potentially put like a bond uh, glue on your eyes like mascara stick these eyelashes underneath your eyelashes seal it up and they last week maybe longer i think this set i actually got two weeks out of which is incredible considering like 
in the salon lash extensions you typically need to get like infilled every two to three weeks I don't have the time and I don't really want to spend that money on doing so and so finding an alternative that I can do at home is great I love these ones I love the tatty lashes ones as well but these ones are great in terms of that more like luxurious real looking DIY lash extension look I really rate this again a small business that has really blown up on TikTok I bought several of her lashes I bought several like makeup products from the brand and I really rate these these are probably one of my favorite things from them I would say that I'd repurchase them but I think I've got about three or four of these in my um, collection ready to use next this is in the shade IL2 I think they do IL1 IL2 IL3 so they get slightly more dramatic as you kind of step up um, and these were actually the brown ones I did purchase these by accident I didn't realize these were brown but actually when you put them on your lashes you can't tell in all honesty they still look very like dramatic but slightly more natural but don't look like brown brown if that makes sense it's like a blacky brown slightly shifts more natural and so yeah these were really good really love them if you do your own like diy lash extensions this brand is well worth checking out i'll have it linked down below if you want to check out a little bit more from them but yeah amazing next up i have got schwarzkopf got to be shampoo this is the dry shampoo I tried this in, again, a dedicated video. I was slightly disappointed by this. It didn't really get that much better. It's one of those, though, I still used it up because I use typically dry shampoo all the time. I try to use up as many of my products as I can because I don't like them going to waste or anything like that. So used it up. Wouldn't repurchase this one, but the green one like the citrus one is really good completely recommend that and that for me is like a dupe to like the Sol de Janeiro one again video on that one I'll leave down below because it's so much better than this one in all honesty but super affordable a great one I think I got this from maybe like home bargains or something available in loads of like discount stores available online and generally yeah wouldn't purchase this one but Schwarzkraft dry shampoo in other areas can be really great so a shame this one wasn't as good as the other ones but understandably because not everything can be perfect so next up i have got these were micro needling plumping patches these were really weird these were almost like undry patches or you could use them on any kind of fine lines or wrinkles and they had like micro needles on them so i had to wait until i gave birth to use them because i didn't know if they were particularly safe to use in pregnancy i wasn't sure but these are just good because it really like the micro needle technology essentially like penetrates the skin with like active ingredients to help like like dissolve the wrinkles or anything like that i don't know if they worked i didn't like take them off and think oh my gosh like it's a miracle um i don't have tons of wrinkles but i think as you get older obviously they're gonna start to come it's part of aging um and so yeah i was curious to try them i think i might have got these in like a beauty box or something because i can't imagine i would have picked these out for myself but having had them in my collection i thought let's give them a go they were okay wouldn't repurchase them felt slightly weird but i don't know it's one of those that i thought i'd give a try and i don't like again products going to waste so i had them in my collection so i thought let's try them out but i don't know have you tried them let me know what you think so next up i have got a setting spray this is from revolution pro i don't tend to buy that many revolution products myself anymore because i just don't really believe in the brand anymore and like what they do what they stand for and i think they just take a lot of I would say inspiration from small businesses. I don't think that's a word. I think they copy and paste a lot of their products and I just don't like that. And so like ethically for me, it feels kind of wrong to promote a brand that does that. Um, however, I use this, typically I use this to be honest in my soap brows where I sprayed my soap, used it and put it into my um, eyebrows. And so it did the job, it was okay. I didn't really use this to like set my makeup or anything. So I can't really comment on that. It's one of those that with soap brows, you could use water, but I prefer setting spray for them to just really keep their hold i've since moved on to a barry m1 and probably going to steer away from revolution is slightly a little bit more so yeah um that's kind of my thoughts it was all right it's really affordable obviously and like revolution it's not that i'm against like affordable makeup because i love that like inclusivity and i think that makeup should be for everyone i just don't like what their brand does and how it affects so many small businesses it just doesn't it just doesn't feel right you know what i mean so even in my hair care videos i try not to use as much of their products as i can there's literally one or two products that i still have that i use up but something like this i just wouldn't repurchase for that reason so as you know i have been pregnant and so throughout my pregnancy i took 
pregnant care tablets and so these have folic acid and all of the um, vitamins that you need for a healthy growing baby um, one of those kind of slightly boring bits that when you first get pregnant you realize you have to like buy pregnancy vitamins if you haven't been taking them already they do recommend if you start trying for a baby to start taking folic acid but for us even though we started trying it happened so quickly that I didn't really put those things in motion until I found out which was crazy and I talked about that in my like finding out I'm pregnant video kind of thing where I'm like sharing that experience with you um but generally these are great vitamins for those that are pregnant or trying to get pregnant pregnant care just has everything that you need in them my first baby I didn't use these ones um I use like the super drug equivalent but to be honest I just don't get to super drug as often as I used to and so I just ordered these online and they did the job had loads of things that I needed and I guess that's the most important thing. So I took these religiously for the duration of my pregnancy and yeah, they were good. So next up we have used a bath bomb from Lush. Can I tell what one this was? I can't. It was obviously a really great one, um, but I love Lush bath bombs. It's always like that touch of luxury. It's nice to have after a long day where you're tired, running off your feet, all of those things uh, to just like relax in a bath. I don't ever take it for granted now that I have two children and so I really want to make sure that when I'm like shutting myself away from the world I'm making it as relaxing as enjoyable as possible because I know as soon as I get out of that bath it's back in mum mode so I love Lush products I don't buy as many as I used to but I still like to like either pop into the store and get some or order online it is nice to have some when you fancy just that like overindulgent bath experience okay so i have also got a protecting scalp scrub again done a video all about this it was okay oh this one was the one that smelled like pineapple wasn't it yeah pineapple one i could tell that straight away you essentially put like a scoop of this and have to like activate it within water to use on your scalp not the most convenient scalp scrub i've ever tried but also not the worst it was okay um and yeah, I used it all up. To be honest, I ended up also using the last little bits up to really scrape off like fake tan. So kind of doubled up as a body scrub. Probably shouldn't have used it in that way, but it's such a natural product. And this is from the brand Biovene, I think. Um, I got this from Just My Look. And yeah, it was, a, it was a good product. No thrills. Did a video if you want to find out a little bit more. But yeah, super affordable one if you're looking for something like that. It was good, it was just so messy and sometimes you just want something that's really convenient. My daughter has put in the Coco Melon Bubble Bath. She gave it 10 out of 10 stars and it made great bubbles. And so, you know, if you're ever looking for Coco Melon Bubble Bath, B&M is your place. What more can I say? Bubble Bath that has the boy from Coco Melon on it. She loves saving her empty products because she knows that I talk about them and so she loves like reminding me to put hers in this to talk about and so yeah I think that is actually the only Heidi product in here this month um but yeah obviously had to recommend it to you all um she got a gift set with like loads of them in and so she's been getting through them um this is a perfume which I have to tell you was so nice this is a very rose smelling product use the last bit i actually took this away with me when we went to lanzarote and the reason being is that this i think cost one pound from like home bargains it was one of those that i always love sniffing the perfumes and i never tend to purchase them because i have loads of really expensive perfumes that i love using i love the longevity but i smelt this and i really liked it knew i was going away so sometimes again i love just buying cheaper products that if they get lost or broken it doesn't matter if However, like I took a 50 pound bottle of perfume and that smashed, I would have been really gutted. But this was actually really nice. And considering the price, it's quite a nice bottle. It's glass, it had 100 mil in it. Really liked it. So yeah, Home Bargains, I love smelling their perfumes. I don't typically buy them, but I just smelled this one. I really liked it. So I got a couple of them. It's really good. And because I wore it on holiday, it just reminds me and takes me back to Lanzarote. And I wish I could go away right now. That is, that is my biggest wish, but yeah, quite a good one actually. So next up we have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. This is their skincare like serum and I had the magic cream and the serum, which was a very luxurious skincare routine for quite a while. Um, again, both products very kindly bought by my husband for me as gifts. So um, slightly makes it a little bit more palatable in terms of the cost. 
really nice but I wouldn't repurchase it because I just didn't found it like the first couple of times I used it I was like I noticed like this really nice glow it looked really good and I was like oh my god like I've got Charlotte Tilbury skin it's quite coveted where she uses it on models and it's really glowy love that but I just feel like the more I used it the less I saw those noticeable results and considering the price of this product I just wish if I got that every time I would just no hesitation repurchase it again but I just didn't find it. My skin just didn't have the same effect. Maybe it got used to it, I don't know. But yeah, annoyingly, I wish that it continued to do so because obviously not cheap. Um, but for that reason, I just wouldn't repurchase it. Very nice luxurious product to have, but when you think of the price, considering you get 30 ml of product, I do, and I'm so loyal to products from like um, the Inky List and things like that, that when I then use very luxurious products, I'm always thinking like, I could have a product that's similar at a more affordable price that leaves my skin looking quite similar. Um, so yeah, nice to have when I had it, but wouldn't repurchase it for the, the fact that the cost and the quality and like everything like that just didn't quite marry up so it's a shame loved it but um yeah goodbye charlotte tilbury <laughs> serum it's one of those that hurts your soul when you finish it because you want it to last forever because you know um it's never a cheap product is it so i promise there's only four more products i swear these videos get so long this is the hula bronzer i think i featured this in a project pan video i did in 2016 saying i was going to finish it during that series yes i probably should have thrown this such a long time ago um it's probably been expired for far too long however we have actually finished this off didn't think it was possible, but there we go. Um, would I repurchase it? I actually have the Hoola Light in my collection to also use at the moment. But to be honest, I just prefer other bronzers. I love the Chanel one. I love, um, I have a Charlotte Tilbury one that I'm using. So the thing with bronzers is that they genuinely last far too long and you'll never use them up. So for me to have used this up probably after like seven years of having it, it's probably a testament to the fact that this, um, you know, I should use products up either sooner or i have too many of like certain product types that you don't need to keep repurchasing them and like i'm at that stage now where i'm really trying to use up what i have before i purchase new things that's also affected by the fact that having two children being on maternity leave is never fun from a finance point of view so yeah it's one of those that um great when i had it love the color but do just have like better preferences now and so would I repurchase this like later down the line perhaps but I've just got so many products I need to use up at this point that it's not at the top of my wish list. So the final three products let's talk about the most boring one first Colgate white toothpaste no frills um I hate the dentist so much and I try to look after my teeth as much as possible I had to have quite a bit of work done because pregnancy just ruins my teeth so considerably which is just so annoying because it's never cheap and like I can't help the fact that like growing a baby has just made my teeth so weak. I know I'm not the only one that's had that experience, but it doesn't make the cost any more, more palatable because you're just like, oh, so frustrating. But one of those things, um, then I've got the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I actually really liked this one. It was quite a no thrills product. Again, took this away when I went to London to make sure that I could cleanse my skin, make it look really nice when I was washing my face off for the day. And like the convenient size of this was really easy to take away for a couple of nights. Um, but generally, I don't think I would repurchase a bigger one of this. Again, I have cleansers that I use from like the Inky List that just really lather so nicely and I just prefer, I think I'm just so used to their system of skincare that anything to break into that has to really be exceptional. So probably wouldn't repurchase this one, um, but it was nice while I had it. It was convenient to have something that was slightly smaller. And then last of all, I've got the Amica Instant Shine Mask. I did a video on this and I don't think I loved it in that video, but the more I've used it, the probably more I've seen results from a long-term point of view. So I did enjoy it. I want to try more products from Amica because they do some great hair care products. But for me, this one just didn't quite hit the nail on the head at the beginning, but it's one of those sometimes it's really hard to do first impressions of hair care products because you almost have to use it in like your own way to find how they work for you. But that said, it was okay. Um, yeah, Amika, like I said, I want to try more from them. Let me know if you have any specific product recommendations because there's so much to choose from. So let me know. I love hearing from you. But there we go. That is today's empties video. Sorry, it's another long one. If you've got through this far, let me know. Leave some emojis down in the comments or something because... I always go on far too much. I'm sorry, I should do them shorter, but there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.